Good day, good day, royal fans, and welcome back to the channel for your latest dose of royal news. For the first time since March last year, Harry reunited with his older brother, Prince William, as they said goodbye to their grandfather, the Duke of Edinburgh. The brothers were spotted on camera speaking to each other, seemingly putting an end to their ongoing rift. The Duke of Sussex is understood to have met with Prince Charles, Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge following Prince Philip's funeral in a bid to put an end to the ongoing feud. It is believed they met at Frogmore Cottage, where Harry and Meghan Markle lived before stepping away from the firm, and spoke for about two hours. However, as Harry plans to jet back to the US to his heavily pregnant wife, former royal butler Paul Burrell believes the Duchess of Sussex will be met with a different man. Mr. Burrell told Closer, his heart is on two different sides of the Atlantic now. Meghan will be faced with that dilemma, the bombshell that Harry now feels split in two. Meghan will believe that what they've done is right, but Harry will be feeling totally torn, and so things will now have to change. She will have to figure out what their next steps will be. Those two from different worlds are going to have to work it out to align themselves. Harry and William's reunion has been hailed as the first step towards healing. But a royal insider warned there was no way to end the crisis. The source said, Harry obviously felt outnumbered as there are three of them and only one of him, so wanted to be on his home turf. There is no way this is the end of the crisis in their relationships, but it's a good gesture and a nice way to take the first step towards healing. William, Kate and Charles all left after about two hours, which was long enough for the process of getting father and brothers talking again, or starting to talk at least. Prince Philip's funeral marked the first time Harry had seen his family face to face since his explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex made several accusations about their time as members of the royal family. They claimed there were conversations about the colour of Archie's skin before he was born. Meghan, who did not attend the funeral due to being heavily pregnant, also said she was close to suicide. Harry and Meghan stepped down as senior members of the royal family and moved to California. Thank you guys for watching once more. That's your latest news. Like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye for now.